Hi students, uh, let's look at a few of the questions uh, that were in this uh, NEET uh, <clears throat> PG 2021 and uh, there were uh, 15 direct questions from pathology. I am Dr. Sanjeev Chitragar. Uh, I am a postgraduate uh, uh, from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. I was even a senior resident there, you know. Uh, so let's look at and let me just tell you out of 15 questions, 14 questions are from your notes that you have made in the class. and. Uh, uh, I see and uh, you know many a times there are lots of uh, uh, questions on the uh, social media and in uh, the internet which have given wrong answer. Let me look at this question now. Uh, so a software engineer that was history uh, presents to OPD with fatigue. So there is fatigue possibly anemia. Uh, he gives history of sitting in front of computer for 12 to 14 hours per day uh, probably work from home and he takes more junk food and less fruits and veggies or vegetables and fruits are not adequately taken by this so this is the keyword that was given in this exam by the way and uh, hemoglobin is reduced 9 mcv is 120 so definitely your diagnosis is a macrocytic anemia here so diagnosis is your macrocytic anemia so it is not sideroblastic it is not acute blood loss both sideroblastic will have microcytic acute blood loss will have a normocytic anemia so is it a folic acid or a cyanocobalamin cyanocobalamin or b12 source of b12 is animal sources it is animal sources and seen in pure vegetarians we had discussed this in the class let me just uh, share you the image that we had uh, i'd shown you in the class as well so you know uh, um yeah, let us look at this. This was what we had discussed, by the way. And I told you uh, it's a very important topic, B12 deficiency and folic acid deficiency. Folic acid, uh, yeah. So the uh, uh, B12 deficiency is seen in pure vegetarians or vegans, those who only eat pure vegetarian. This fellow is not eating vegetarian at all. He is not eating fruits, vegetables. So that is why he is less likely. So remember, nutritional deficiency of B12 can happen in pure vegetarians or vegans, not those who are not eating fruits and vegetables fruit and vegetable mostly folic acid folium green folium means leaf basically so folic acid is a green leafy vegetable so basically his his this fellow is having a folic acid deficiency it is not cyanocobalamin cyanocobalamin deficiency or b12 deficiency for many reasons it is not one keyword was given was fruits and vegetables second important cyanocobalamin deficiency or vitamin b12 the stores last pretty long and usually to have such a hemoglobin f9 or anything he should be having deficiency for at least he should not eat for at least for three to four years at least i mean two years is minimum we say before that uh, there'll be no anemia happening and also i think one more uh, against cyanocobalamin there was uh, no history of any uh, neurological things that were given here anyway so there are many things which are against cyanocobalamin but uh, this is definitely a folic acid deficiency so uh yeah so remember be careful uh, many of the uh, on the online internet so many of them have given it wrong so make sure it is folic acid deficiency and if you have marked folic acid deficiency you are right by the way next question number two let us look at this question number two uh, again uh, in the internet I have seen so many of them have made this wrong I do not know why anyways uh, so simplest one a patient presents with history of fatigue was there weight loss was there multiple infections are there so fatigue weight loss multiple infection uh, so basically there is a history of infection could be anything uh, can be infectious disease or some bone marrow disease etc fit weight loss definitely suggestive query malignancy or query infection at least we can suspect uh, fatigue uh, can be query anemia so it is suggesting there is an anemia there is query malignancy and if it is anemia and multiple infection query neutropenia also could be there because of multiple infection and has a history of benzene exposure this was the keyword that was given benzene benzene causes acute myeloid leukemia only one neoplasm is associated with benzene answer is blood cancer that was in the option many of them have written it as bladder in the uh, internet i was checking uh, so you know uh, don't do not be misguided by wrong thing bladder no bladder will be azo dyes or you know the dyes that are used benzene dyes it's not a benzene benzene is just a fruity odor uh, what do you call aromatic hydrocarbon uh, it's just like petrol by the way so benzene is used uh, uh, in many places where uh, you know solvent as a ink etc can be used so printing press industry etc so it is a acute myeloid leukemia again this we had discussed in the class uh, so you know 
uh, where had we discussed this let us look at this oh yeah so we had uh, written it look at this so these are your chemical carcinogenesis a different industry and a different carcinoma and this was benzene that was given light oil and in printing basically it is a solvent it is used in printing industry acute myeloid leukemia blood cancer will happen so if you remember this is a very important topic because uh, in our uh, gts in three gts i had given one vinyl chloride question i had given one uh, i had given asbestos question and I think one more I had given was aflatoxin question so three questions we had given uh, in uh, so basically I'm sure all of you have gone through this table uh, in the grand test uh, that we had discussed at dams